Chef Kev is in the kitchen this morning to give it some love. You're making roast beef debris po' boy, Chef Kev. Yes, yes. And you know, Sheebs, to be yeah. truthful, I'll eat a steak every once in a while. Sure. But gang, I am not the biggest roast fan. Now even see, even I as a kid. Tear up a roast. Even as a kid. And normally when I do roast, I put carrots, onions, oh, okay, yeah. sweet potatoes, season a roast, put that on top, let it go in the oven real slow. But this time, gang, what I'm doing is a little different. What you're looking at right now, I took the roast, made little slits in it, stuck garlic cloves in it. Okay. Seasoned it with my Creole seasoning, a little garlic powder, then I dusted it with flour. It looks so good. In the pan, I had a little oil. Okay. I seared it off on both sides. And basically, you want to brown it off. I had it three or four minutes on each side just to brown off really good. Okay. Now, I've got little goodies stuck in the bottom of the pan down here. But this is going to come up and help make the gravy. Great. So basically, I've tossed in a sweet onion, got that sauteing, and this is going to be part of the gravy. Now, here's what happens. Gang, this is one of the neatest tricks you can do at home. Well, teach us with the tomato trick. tomato paste. Oh, oh, I just picked it. Open both sides of the can of tomato paste. Because what you do is you just push it out, oh. you take off the bottom, push it all the way through. Look at you, magic man. Grab the top off. And there you go. Just toss it right in the can, right okay. there by you. Oh, it's right, right in front here. of you. Great. Look at that. That's the easiest way to get tomato paste out. Wonderful. Open both sides of the can. Never would have thought of it. So we're going to let this stir for a minute. Then I have a little beef stock. So we'll get in some bay leaves. Okay. We're going to get in some beef stock, mm -hmm. which is going to help make the gravy. And we're going to put our roast back in here. Yes, you are. And then put this in the oven. It sounds divine. And we're just going to let it go and let it go until it gets so tender that we just shred it. Now, some folks will cook roast kind of rare. Okay. Then they slice them and put them on a sandwich rare. But I like to cook it long and slow and then let it go apart. Just pull it apart. You could do this if you're at home all day long, let it yeah. cook. Or if you're going to be, you know, if, you have, if you're really busy. Yeah. Put it in overnight. When you go to bed, wake up in the morning, it'll be ready. On Perfect. a low fire, it'll be nice and, and tender.